Florida, South, South Carolina. South Carolina. South, South, Carolina. South, South Carolina is where it went off the coastline. And mm -hmm. uh, what people, I saw a couple of people on Twitter, they were asking me, they didn't realize that it went west to east instead right. of east to west because everybody thinks the sun rises in the east and goes to the west but right. the way that the earth or the earth and the moon kind of cross it's got to go backwards to get the shadow well, however it moved it was very cool for me to watch it, it was really <laughs> cool and the, the satellite picture that we just showed that what we call the go 16 it's the newest NOAA uh, weather satellite that's up there and it is high res it is one of the coolest tools that uh, us folks in the weather community have and it's really cool to see that visible satellite image of the shadow moving across from west to east uh, from Oregon back down towards South Carolina. Now if you were at the beach yesterday you probably had some really good viewing of the eclipse. If you're at the beach here this morning it's a little bit hazy and maybe even a little bit foggy and you see that here on our neighborhood network camera down in Margate. It is again a quiet start to the day at the beach but it's a muggy start to the day so because of that it is a little bit on uh, the uh, foggy side to say the least. Mostly sunny though for the shore later this afternoon. Temperatures are going to be in the mid to high 80s, but when you add in the humidity, it's going to be feeling like it's up into the 90s, maybe even near the triple digits. In the water, it's 76. Sunscreen a definite today, very high for the UV index, and we do have a moderate risk for rip currents, so make sure that, as always, you're swimming by the lifeguard. Future weather for us, not too much in the way of anything we need to talk about through most of the afternoon. It's just going to be hot, it's going to be humid, and we will see sunshine. A couple of isolated pop up thunderstorms not ruled out. As we go through the evening and overnight tonight. Cold front sweeps on through, giving us more scattered thunderstorm chances. Those clear out, though, by the time we really get into tomorrow afternoon. Our feels like temperatures today, high 90s to around triple digits, but not too bad for us tomorrow as lower humidity does take over. Heat advisory from 1 to 8 today. Heat index values 98 to 103. And getting a look at our eyewitness weather 7 day forecast, after the 93 today, we get to 84 tomorrow, and then some lower 80s with lower humidity, Misha, by Thursday and Friday, and then 70s into the weekend. <laughs>